Hey guys, it's Chris. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm going to be doing a vendor spotlight video. Um, I'm doing this with all new vendors that are new to me. And what I do in this video is I go through what I got. So it's a semi haul. I tell a little bit about the company. So it gives you more information about them. And then I pop in a piece of wax. It's actually melting as I'm doing this video. If, you know, I haven't really gotten anything from it, you know, by the time the video is over, then I will put a little annotation on, you know, the video after and just give you like, you know, okay, this has been burning two hours or melting two hours and it's going strong or in what warmer or whatever, or yeah, I'm not really getting so much from this kind of thing. So it is kind of a warm review mixed in with um, the vendor spotlight, which is kind of more telling you about the company about the wax so what I'm doing today is a new vendor to me this is pink tea candles that is where you can order from pink tea candles dot iradium dot com slash Facebook this is actually kind of a weird it took I've been looking at this company for a long time the owner is Terry Brown very sweet woman um, and I've been looking at this for quite a long time, this company, but I could not figure out how to order on this Facebook. I figured it out. <laughs> it was, I went on the group page, which I will post below. I finally figured it out. Um, and I really wanted to try this company because there's a lot of claims in this, that this company makes that I'm like Im impossible. It's not true kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like I was, I'm, I was in doubt. So, um, I have my 24 watt warmer, which she recommends. She recommends, um, tea light warmers, which I don't use cause I don't burn at all. Not even tea lights or higher wattage warmers. So, um, the 24 watt hot plate is the hottest that I have. So I ordered a bunch of her cubies. Now, it says here, she gives you a little card, and it says, thank you so much, Christine, enjoy, um, Terry. Let me tell you, this stuff came super quick. I think she said her TAT time was one day. It came really quick. I have to look at my, hold on, let me see here. I got to look at my um, pink tea, pink tea. I don't know. I'm looking to see if it, if I can find it mm -mm -mm. because I did get a, I did get a message on shipping. No, maybe she didn't say one. Maybe she didn't. She didn't say one day. I'm sorry. It was another vendor new to me that I posted. Um, I forgot what she said her TAT time was, but it was really super duper. Um, it was pretty, it was fast. I really wish I could find this just because, let me go to the next page. I really wanted to give you, mm, I'm not finding it. Okay, so anyway, it was quick. Now, when you go to, okay, so first I'm going to show you this little card here. Okay, so it's pink tea candles, incredibly fragrant, affordable, earth-friendly, unique. You guys know anything that says earth-friendly, all-natural, go green, I'm all about it. They're made in New Mexico, um, and I, I love it, okay? So she does candles and she does other wax goodies, and they're made exclusively, candles and wax goodies are made exclusively of, with exclusive, exclusive tropical wax blend of coconut wax slash tropical fatty acids and esters. I don't know what esters are, but the cubies, which is what I ordered, are made of high, made with high melt point tropical wax. I'm thinking they're coconut also. I had never heard of coconut wax, like candles being made out of coconut wax. So I found that very intriguing. Um, they look like palm wax, and I'll because I'll show it to you, but I don't know if there's any palm in here or not. Um, so it says use higher wattage, 100% natural, organic, renewable, and sustainable wax. Like, that's great because people, 
give palm wax such a bad rep and it's really not. It is sustainable. It is renewable. There are farms out there that farm specifically for that purpose. You know, the, the rainforests are not being chopped down, but whatever, that's a different rant. Um, holds a high volume of fragrance and has a fantastic scent throw. Water soluble, non-toxic and biodegradable. Like, okay, that's awesome. Like non-toxic wax. So like my kid could put this in his mouth. Not that he would, he's 12. <laughs> but I mean, you know, a kid can put it in his mouth and, you know, they're not going to die or anything like that. Like, I'm a, okay. So burns cleaner, slower, and cooler than other waxes in virtually black soot free. So that would be for their candles, obviously. But I didn't get candles. I got their cubies. Now, this is what a cubie looks like. It's a cube of wax. That's it, okay? The thing that confused me a little bit when I went on the on the website to order is it says QB singles and that's what I got. They're $1.15 a piece. They are actually 1.15 ounces each. So they're spot on, you know, the dollar an ounce price point. But on the, in the web, on the website, it says, this is a great way to sample all the scents. Try as many scents as you like. Two cube per cent limit. Oh, I got it. So you can only, oh, for the singles, you can only do Q2. You can only do, like, say this one is pineapple sage. I could only get two pineapple sages if I wanted. I didn't do that. I just ordered um, other ones. So I didn't place a huge order. As I'm doing with new vendors now, to me, new to me, I'm not doing huge orders. I'm waiting and that kind of thing. Now, I'm looking here to see, I mean, she also does, like I said, she does candles. I'll post, of course, the link below and the link to the group. Um, they have a sampler. They have um, chunky flowers or chunky triangle melts. She has little, she has Twinkies. She has the scallops in a four pack. She has a scent tube. Oh, that's $30, but it says it's cute. It says fun. Each scent tube is filled with scent discs that can be used in any warmer. Four different scents, four discs each scent, packaged in an attractive tube, more than 28 ounces. These are incredibly fragrant and long lasting. And that's everything on here. This is incredibly fragrant and long lasting. She does have wax loaves in ceramic dishes. Those are $15. Um, and you get a reusable you know, ceramic dish, which is really cute. She has big bunts. She has baby bunts, um, country jars, football melts, that kind of stuff. She also sells, which I didn't get and I wanted to because they're really cute and I forgot about them, but it's a bulb warmer. They're 40 watt bulb warmers and she hand crafts them and then they're sponge painted. She makes these herself. And this is, she said this is a special order item. They're $30. But if you go on the page, you can see them. They're very cute. They look almost like they're made from, I don't know, it's hard to tell. Like maybe from a, a terracotta pottery uh, planter or something to that effect. Very, very cute. Very original. You know what I mean? So it's not your run of the mill, your, you know, kind of thing. Um, it does use a 40 watt bulb, which with all my bulb warmers, which I have since gotten rid of, they, um, I, I always change the bulbs to 40 watts. And because she does say that her stuff is, you know, for warmer, is best used in warmer, Warmer warmers, in warmer warmers, in higher wattage warmers or tea light warmers as they get hotter, um, that would make sense, 40 watt bulb. So if you guys are looking for 40 watt bulbs, they're $30, yeah, you could probably get a cheap one and switch out the bulb. I know everyone says, no, God, no, don't do that. My my boyfriend is a master electrician. He does huge commercial stuff so he works on power plants and stuff like that and everything and he said difference between a 25 watt bulb and a 40 watt bulb is not I mean the most you're going to do is burn out your bulb like that's it like it's not if you have any sort of fire or anything like that like a lot of people have said oh I had a fire when I changed out my bulb it, your warmer was defective because the amperage and stuff is just not enough to 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 start a fire but whatever that's a whole nother rant so <clears throat> It really did take me months to figure out. I kept seeing pink tea. 
I haven't seen her a lot on the boards, but or people even talking about her stuff, but it was something that I kind of kept going back to because I liked the idea of the co coconut oil and it being biodegradable and all that stuff, and I could not figure out how to order. It's a little tricky. So, um, because you actually have to hit a scent, then hit buy now. Correct. Oh, it still has my old order. And then check out. Oh, and then PayPal. It, it was just, it, it, it doesn't sound that complicated, but I think she switched the site up a little bit to make it more user-friendly, to be honest with you. Um, not a huge, huge scent list. Well, I shouldn't say that. It's pretty big. It's not, it's not super huge. It's not overwhelming. Um, a lot of the stuff was stuff that I really wouldn't go for. A lot of, um, floral kind of stuff, but she does have, you know, I shouldn't, she does have, you know, some spruce stuff. Like I don't do spruce. I don't do eucalyptus, anything like that. But she does have, there were more that I wanted to, but I said, you know what, place like $20 and then see how it goes. So, um, so let me see. I want to see if it tells me back a little bit more about the company on here because she did have some claims that, and on her, what you call it, on her, I don't, on her Facebook group, she has new scents, and I don't think they're on the Facebook where you can order. So I don't know if you can actually order from her through Messenger also, in case you know some of the some of the scents that you want don't are not in the you know on the drop down list yet. I'm not sure because I didn't see some of these on there. Um. But I'm looking here under files. All she has is the newest scent list, which was updated March of this year. Um, let me see. Pink tea candles. Let me look. Because she also does have a Facebook page. Okay. So this is 12 ratings and it gets 5.0. 5 out of 5. Now, I don't know if that's all her friends or what. I'm not sure. Because like I said, I haven't really heard a lot on the boards. And I'm like on the boards. So it's kind of weird. But um, I'm just trying to look quickly if I can. Some of the claims that were like being made. Oh, this is cool. On her Facebook page, she has... Fabulous Sense for 2013, and then she has strength ratings. So if it's got four stars, it's super strong. If it's got two stars, it's soft, which I love that idea. What I don't like is that a lot of the individual scents, when you go to order, says super strong, super long lasting. I thought I saw somewhere, and if she has YouTube, I'm going to post this in her group too, she can correct me. That one of these cubes lasts 30 hours. Don't know. I'm going to give it a shot. We're going to see. Um, so I'm trying to see here if there's one that I have. Okay, so like this one right here is grape soda. And this says it's, it's a light scent which I wish I had known that because I don't like light scents and I wouldn't have ordered it, but I like super strong in your face. And on cold sniff, it does smell light, you know, lighter. But the thing is, too, is on her page, she also says, let's go back to the home page. Okay, so it says candles and wax goodies are made fresh when you order and will be shipped three to 10 days, three to 10 days, that's her TAT, after they are made. Like I said, these came super fast. Now, this I think is a is a typo because it says they need to cure and will be ready to burn melt when you receive them. So do they need to cure or do they need to be ready to, or are they ready to burn and melt? I think she says they, I think she, 
they don't need to cure. Maybe she forgot the don't in that. Um, maybe that's something, Terry, that you can like look at on your, you know, your main page in your shop. So it says, our candles are incredibly fragrant and hand poured, fresh when you order. Our exclusive tropical wax blend is amazing. Um, just what I had read to you. They perform better in hot warmers. There was a claim somewhere here. Where is it? Okay, no, sorry, not 30. 15 plus hours sent per cube nonstick wax. So 15 plus hours is amazing, right? So we will see if it holds up to that. Obviously, I'm not going to do a 15 hour video, but I will post on this video and let you know how it goes. Okay, so let's try. So anyway, let's start off with my freebies that I got. I got um, this freebie here. But like I said, she's right on point, like 115, and they are an ounce, 1.15 ounces. It's hysterical. So, I mean, she's definitely on point. So I got this in Pineapple Sage. I thought I had ordered this, but obviously I didn't. Um, and I can't find my invoice. So this smells lovely. Lovely. I love sage, so... Am I getting a ton of pineapple in this one? No, I'm not. But I love sage. So I can smell pineapple, absolutely. But it's not like, oh, juicy with a hint of the herbal. It's more like herbal with a hint of the juicy, if that makes sense to you. So, um, but if you look at the bottom of these, this one actually has a little hole in it. So here's the cube. Okay. And what makes me think it's pa partially palm is if you look at this, if my camera will focus, it's crystallized like palm. So I don't know if it's a cross between palm and coconut. I don't know. And it looks like a little cavern in here. This is actually kind of cool. There's a, there's a hole in there. It looks like a little cavern. <laughs> it's pretty neat. I don't know if I necessarily want a hole in my wax, but it's cool. Um, but the bottom of this looks very smooth. So it's kind of weird. I don't know. Like I said, the tropical waxes could be palm plus coconut. I don't know. But this is a very nice scent. So I'm going to throw this one in. In my 24 watt over here. Excuse me. Okay. And it's already started. I heated it up already and stuff. So it's already starting to melt. So we will see what we get with this. How the throw is. Um, the next one I got was chocolate covered strawberries. And it was kind of neat because I really wanted to try like almost all of the scents. But like I said, I've really been keeping it down to a minimum. This is really good. I love chocolate scents. So this is um, chocolate covered strawberries. Again, mostly I get the chocolate. I'm not getting too much strawberry on cold but obviously you know cold snuff is not a great indicator but just so you know the next freebie I got I mean freebies are always great this is a little bunny head and it's in pomegranate and this one I don't think is 1.5 ounces but it could be these shapes and stuff sometimes throw me off I, I I'm not a good judge of looking at something and seeing how much it weighs Now, I don't know if I like this one. You know what's funny is that no, it's good. It's good. I was like, I don't know if I like it in cold stuff. I, 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 when I first started melting wax, it's so funny because it's been a while now, like uh, over a year. And um, I, I hated pomegranate. Hated it, hated it, hated it, hated it, hated it. And then I just came to love it. So, and then, so one, two, three, the fourth freebie that I got was this big, Chunky flour melt. And this is birthday cake with risky with whiskey river chunks. 
And I like how she puts freebie on it. So it's like, you know that this is, you know, was not part of your order. And I think, you know, like I said, very generous with the freebies. Three cubes or three, two cubes, one little bunny and this big thing here. Um, the, the chunks are all throughout. I'm going to pull this out so you guys can see it. This little embed's coming off. So I'm just going to put this back in the box because... Back in the box, back in the box, back in the bag, because I don't want it to fall on my computer. Now, this is very nice. This is like, you definitely get a birthday cake scent with like, almost like a bourbon sort of hint to it. So it's very unusual. So um, these supposedly are cuttable too. So I'm going to weigh it because if these... 1.15 ounce cubies do amazing. Why would I waste wax, right? If this is like three ounces, I'll cut this sucker and just put a little piece in here. So those were the freebies. So thank you, Terry, very much. Okay, so next, my, what I got from my order was avocado cilantro. And I know it sounds really weird. I know that sounds like a really, really weird scent, but I love herbal scents and... So I was just, I just like went for this one. Let me see. So ap, wait, avocado, cilantro. I just kind of went down the list. I should have got, why didn't I get, see there were so many I should have gotten, but I didn't. Um, next time when I see how this performs um, is a soothing fresh of fresh fragrance blend of juicy avocado, invigorating cilantro and zesty lime. And I'm going to tell you what I get out of this. Because scent descriptions in me are not friends usually. I, they just aren't. Okay, I can smell the lime. And I can smell the cilantro. I don't really even know juicy avocado. Is avocado even really juicy? I think it's smushy. I don't know if I would count it as juicy. But I don't even really know what avocado smells. I don't like avocado. So I don't really know what it smells like. But this smells really good. This is like almost like a... Um, it reminds me almost of like a mojito or something. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's lime, but it's not your super juicy lime. And in, and cold sniff, it's not super zesty either, but it's herbal too. Cause I, I really do think herbal goes with most. I'm an earthy girl. So I kind of feel like herbal can go with like almost anything, you know? Um, okay. So the next one that I got was great, was the grape soda. right here. And this one is on cold sniff light. So smells just like grape soda. I can actually kind of smell the fizz to it too, which is really nice. Um, let me see what this says. I hope I got grapefruit and mango steam, but I don't think I did. This is a fruity, fizzy grape fragrance. And that's really what it is. It definitely smells like grape soda. I mean, I like her labels, very simple, but are not peeling off. You know what I mean? So I really, really like that. I like how she puts them on the on the zip part, whatever. Um, don't know this type of label, whether or not these will, you know, the writing will stay on there. Don't know. I also, the other thing I have to ask her is how long, what's the, sh what's the shelf life on these? Because I know, you know, with paraffin, it's longer than soy. I'm not quite sure with the vegetable waxes and stuff like that and the, uh, you know, tropical waxes, how, what their shelf life is. Is it shorter than soy? Is it longer? Is it, you know, um, this is Caramel Extreme. And this is described as, let me see, Caramel. An extremely buttery, creamy caramel. Incredibly yummy. Now, I don't know how many stars this had. I should be checking. And this really is just a, create a, a straight up caramel smell. I don't know if it smells buttery to me. It smells almost like a caramel extract. So it kind of has a little alcoholic note to it, which I don't know if I like. 
but again, you know, I'll have to melt it. That's just on cold snip. So, um, next one is caramel macchiato, which you guys know, I love my coffee scents. Okay. This has the caca coffee in it. Mm. So it says a bold fresh brewed coffee with just the amount of sweet caramel and fresh vanilla cream. It has that bitter coffee smell and I, I'm always looking for a nice, I'm still looking for a coffee where you open, you know, you open up your coffee can and you put your nose in it and that's what it smells like. These are so bitter. I don't know if I'm going to like this one, but it's the only coffee one she had. So I had to, I had to give it a shot, but we will see on, um, warm how that goes. Bamboo green tea. Love the smell of bamboo. Absolutely love it. So bamboo green tea is blend of fresh bamboo, green tea leaves, sandalwood, peach, lemon zest, and bergamot. Now my nose after two, you know, the bamboo green tea would have been good. I know that's probably a fragrance oil scent description those things kind of bother me. I'm not, I'm saying in general too, not talking about pink tea, um, candles, but in general, they bother me. I wish vendors would say, okay, this is what I smell. You know, if it's bamboo, green, green tea, just put bamboo and green tea. Like don't, don't add sandalwood, peach, lemon zest, and bergamot if I can't smell that. No, I can smell lemon in here. More than the bamboo, actually. I don't. It's, this is hard on cold sniff. I'm going to be honest. It's really hard because I love bamboo. And I've tried bamboo and soy before, and it just knocks me off my socks. I love it. This is a really nice scent. It's a really nice kind of fresh scent. I can smell the lemon, too, which is a little makes it a little fruity. Don't really get the... Yeah, maybe the sandalwood, it's it's a little teeny, teeny bit powdery. And that would be the sandalwood. It's nice. I mean, like I said, it's a nice scent. I, I don't know if I get all those specific notes or not, but it's a nice scent. This one is Blueberry Cobbler. And Blueberry Cobbler is described as... That's what I was going to get was the bamboo flower. I didn't get that one. But I was kind of trying to stay away from florals because you never quite know. Bamboo is floral enough. Um, blueberry cobbler. An amazing blend of baked vanilla and sweet blueberries. So we'll see because I love blueberry scents. Yeah, it smells really good. It really does smell like blueberry cobbler. It does not. I mean, I don't know if I get baked vanilla or whatever, but... It's not just a straight up blueberry. I can smell the cobbler part if, you know what I mean? It's a very nice blueberry scent. I like it. Um, it's, it's very good. I like it. Because so, sometimes the blueberries are, I don't know, like very, very artificial and I'm not so sure about them. Okay, I got apricot chamomile. <clears throat> this one just sounded interesting to me. So apricot chamomile is fresh peach and apricot blended with chamomile, violet, orange, melon, and musk in this super fresh, strong fragrance. Now, chamomile doesn't really smell like much to me. It's it's nice. It's herbal. It, you know, it's a tea scent. But you put melon and musk in and violets and orange. Why? I, I don't know. This is kind of weird. Like I said, I'm sure it's a fragrance oil description. It's nice. I mean, it's, it's kind of like a fresh, it's not super strong on cold. I can smell the peach. I can smell the apricot. I don't know if I get orange melon and musk and all that other stuff, but it smells nice, you know? I mean, there's not one really. The co the coffee one, I'm not so sure about. But the rest of them, there's not one yet that I've gone, ew. Like, no. I and mean, the coffee one was close to ew. Just only because 
I'm anybody who knows me who watches my videos knows I call it caca coffee I'm super I'm still waiting to find I don't think there's a fragrance oil vendor out there that makes one just a black regular coffee smell that does not smell burnt and acidic that's what I'm looking for but this one is coconut self-explanatory And it smells a little waxy. That's the problem with coconut. Coconut is so hard. I love coconut. I love it. I would melt it morning, noon, and night. I love it. I have yet to find a good coconut. They're really hard to do because it's a light scent. And see, okay. No, no. Tell me if this makes sense. This coconut is described as hints of peach and mango make this the best coconut ever. I don't get it. It's called coconut. Not coconut, peach, mango. I don't know, really weird. She has quite a few coconuts too, because she has coconut, coconut bliss, coconut custard, coconut mango. I don't know. Coconut rain. Coco yeah. Um, I like this. It smells like coconut. Wish it was a little sweeter. Like I'm looking really for that like fresh coconut, um, the coconut meat or, or, or coconut milk smell. Coconut, but a little sweet. And I mostly you get coconut and it smells kind of waxy. And this kind of really is not much of an exception. But that's with all the vendors so far. I have yet to find a, a amazing black coffee and an amazing coconut. But we'll melt it and give it a shot. Banana nut bread. I love banana nut bread. Especially if I can smell the banana. So let's see here. Okay, I'm not loving this one. It smells good. It's a nice bakery scent. I'm not getting a lot of banana. Like, I like a lot of banana and then a nutty kind of bread thing. Not, like, overwhelmed by nuttiness and then trying to spot the banana. And that's kind of what I'm getting in this one. I'm cold, anyway. So, we will see. Okay, this is birthday cake swivel. I am not a big birthday cake fan. I can't believe I ordered these. Um, oh, birthday cake and strawberry daiquiri. That's why I ordered it because it had strawberry daiquiri in it. It's nice. I mean, I'm going to let all these cure except for the one that I just threw in. I mean, it's a birthday cake strawberry. I don't know strawberry daiquiri, but, you know. Have I smelled all of these on, on cold, except for the coffee, which was like, whoa. Um, you know, they're not super strong. But, again, cold throw is not a big indicator. Raspberry lemonade. Love lemonade scents. Love it. it smells amazing. It smells really good. I mean, I would call these like a light to medium cold sniffs. I, I like this one. You know, I, I, I do. I love lemonade scents. This one is Birds of Paradise. Or, yeah, or Bird of Paradise. And this one is described as, because Bird of Paradise is usually, or can be, floral. But this one is an absolutely wonderful floral fragrance blended with Strawberry, cotton candy, lemon drops, caramel, raspberry jam, musk, and French vanilla. I know I'm not going to smell all those things, but I'm hoping I'll smell some of them. This is interesting. I, I do like it. Um, I, it's definitely floral, but it's not like, whoa, floral. You know what I mean? I think I can smell the vanilla in here too. So the other things are obviously, you know, toning down the floral a little bit, making it a little more interesting. Hmm. That is interesting. But like I said, cotton candy, strawberry, lemon drops, caramel, raspberry jam. Like, oh my God. It gives my nose a headache. Is that possible? <laughs> All those things. Like, it's just like, I'm kind of like, okay. Um, Berry banana, wanted to try this, love banana scents. 
This is black raspberry, blackberry, cranberry, and cherry, which I hate cherry. I hate it. Blended with banana to create this strong fruity delight. Really hoping this is not overpowering on the cherry because I love black raspberry, blackberry, cranberry. It's too cherry. Cherry is such a hard scent, you guys. If you mix with cherry, you have to put just a drop of cherry in there because cherry is so overpowering and it smells medicinal to me. This smells like cherry, um, cherry NyQuil. That's, that's what this smells like. I don't like this at all. I don't think I will even melt this one. Unfortunately, I do not like it. If you like cherry, then that's for you. But, um, bamboo flower. So I did get bamboo flower. I was hoping I did. Bamboo flower. A wonderful tropical floral flavor, floral fragrance. I can't. <gasps> My tongue gets all tied. Floral fragrance with lime, star fruit, bamboo flower, and coconut milk. So I was really looking forward to this one. Because I love my tropicals. This is really good. I like this better than the bamboo and green tea. This is really, really, really good. I can smell more of the lime. I love the smell of star fruit. I, I definitely love the bamboo flower better than the bamboo green tea. So if you're looking for a bamboo scent, I would recommend this one. Um, this is flowering yucca. And this is, again, I normally don't do flowers. Oops, I passed it. Who I still can't, I mean, you can still smell that cherry. Oh my God. Um, but for $1.15, give it a shot, right? Like I was like, well, for $1.15, I'll give it a shot. Give it a go. But it's too cherry for me. Um, flowering. Oh, Essence of a Man? I didn't get Essence of a Man? What is my problem? It's got patchouli in it. That's like so me. Did I get it? I'm like, did I? Did I get it? Did I get Essence of a Man? I didn't. What a dodo, Chris. That's so your scent. Um, flowering H. Why am I not seeing this? A, B, C, D, E. It's not on here. Oh, yes, it is. This beautiful soft scent captures the essence of the state flower of New Mexico, which is the yucca flower. Yucca. Yucca, yucca. This is a nice fresh floral. I don't usually like floral at all. But like I said, there's certain florals, yucca, fl yucca florals. Um, that sounds so funny. Um, you know, uh, sweet pea. Some There's some florals that I can do. This is just a really fresh floral. I love it. Really, really, really nice. It kind of reminds me of bamboo. Like straight up bamboo smell. That's what it reminds me of. And I love it. This one's called Roadrunner. Which I believe is the animal the animal of New Mexico. What do they call it? The national animal of New Mexico. Um, Mimi. Sorry. I had to. Mimi. Um... I wanted to try this New Mexico morning too, but I was not brave enough. It is an incredible blend of dark cocoa, ginger, because cinnamon I don't like, orange juice, fiery chili pepper, mm, almond extract I don't usually like because it smells like cherry, dark rum, vanilla, heavy cream, and rich maple sugar, but that sounded like really interesting. Um, Roadrunner. Pink, it's a pink tea candle signature blend of strong, true root beer, Tahitian vanilla, sweet churned butter, powdered sugar, and a touch of butter rum. I was like, wow. It smells just like root beer, you guys. This Roadrunner is amazing. Oh, my God. I should have put this in. This is amazing. Oh, wow. Wow. That's really good. This is like my favorite so far, I think. This Roadrunner. I love it. Roadrunner. Wild Current. Love the smell of currants. 
I just have a few more here, guys. Wild Current is... Wild Current juices are blended with ripened fig, which I also love, and sweet sandalwood, which I adore. So I figure it can't go wrong, right? It's very nice. Very nice. Not, I'm not getting a whole bunch of sandalwood, but it's just a nice, I like, I love fruities, but give me the currants, the figs, the cranberries, you know what I mean? Like, give me the more unusual stuff, the pomegranates, like, I'm just, mm, this is good, too. That Roadrunner, though, is amazing. Um, I got Coconut Bliss, so I did get another coconut, um, Coconut Bliss is... Oh, coconut custard and lemon bliss. So I thought that sounded really interesting. It's really good. It's really, really, really good. Like it much better than the straight up coconut. The coconut, the straight up coconut smelled waxy. This smells good. It's lemon. You get a zesty lemon, but it's not too much. And the coconut creams it out, if that makes sense. Mm. Love it. And then grapefruit mangosteen is my all-time favorite, favorite, favorite scent. I mean, besides my coffees and my chocolates, like, if I'm going to pick a fruit, it's going to be grapefruit mangosteen. Um, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, H, I, K. There's no J's. Um, D, F, G. Okay, an incredible blend of fruit of fruit. Ripe, tangy grapefruit, citrusy, sweet, mango, steen, and a hint of peach. I don't know where they're throwing all these peaches in for whatever reason. I love it. I love it. This reminds me more of a red grapefruit. <sighs> so good. So super good. And I have a feeling this one's going to be really strong, too. Um, so that's what I got, guys. I mean, I think I paid a total of maybe $23. Super fast TAT. Um, am I smelling? Oh, God, I'm making a mess. That's what I'm doing. This is not even fully melted. I'm not smelling anything at this moment. This pineapple sage. Let me quickly grab the bowl. Hold on. I can smell it when I hold it up to my nose, and it smells herbal but kind of waxy. So I don't know. You know, maybe that's just not a scent for me. Um, it's almost totally melted, but I'm going to give it some time, and I will post either in the About section or make an annotation on this video. Um, as to what my experience with this was. So anyway, that is Pink Tea Candles, guys. Let me show you her, Terry Brown. Let me show you her card again. And that's her Facebook. These are from her packing peanuts, by the way. They're all over the place now, but she uses the biodegradable ones, which I love, and I just put them down in my sink. One hot water over them, they're gone. Like, I just did that. It was amazing. Um, so we shall see. I'm hoping I can smell this. I hope it gets good throw and I'm hoping that I get 15 hours. We'll see. Anyway, take care guys. If you're looking for, you know, biodegradable, whatever, like I said, I'm not endorsing this company yet because I haven't smelled the actual warm throw, but I will let you guys know. Just a vendor spotlight. Check them out. I'm going to post the links below. Take care.